Lovely. Josie, yeah. best of luck with that. Now, Phil Vickery is kicking off our weekend with a tasty full English breakfast. But is that my new shirt? Oh, yes, I do. You, you look lovely. It's very grey. Love yeah. that little granddad collar as well. Good, isn't it? Good. You're very you nice. You look lovely. Um, so, this isn't a normal breakfast, though, isn't it? You've elevated to the next level. Well, sometimes this is more, as I said to you. Here it is. And it really is. Do you know what? Yeah, this came, by, came <laughs> quite by chance. I had a bit of a few sausages. All right. It is very small, isn't it? All right, love, you'll get some more in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> the whole point being is, if, if this is all cooked left in the fridge... Good, though. Yeah, it's lovely. It now, it needs to be at room temperature, and you need to cook it. No, don't overcook it. Don't rush it. No, it's definitely okay. don't overcook blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, actually... All right, Elle, you some more, you go. Oh, okay, thank that. you. That's <laughs> what we're talking Hope about. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm a big girl. Right, shelf down there. Good I time need my nutrients. <laughs> More like it. <laughs> what we're talking about. I, knew, I just knew it was a mistake. I just knew doing this. Anyway, so it's very simple. There it is. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. That, that your starter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the point being is that you're using things which you've got left in the fridge. So you can cook them fresh or you can have them. It's up to you. It makes sense. So in this pan here, I have a little bit left of a streaky bacon, a bit of crispy into there. Just cook it in a little bit of pan with the sausages. Now, the sausages can be cooked or raw. Chop yeah. them up and just cook them till they're cooked. Lovely. Don't leave them whole. Very, very simple. I do add a bit of extra oil in there because you need to turn it out in the end. And if it's not oil enough, it might stick if you don't have a non-stick pan. We'll come on to that in a second. OK. So, they're in there. Now, I add... Fat not to... enough to cook them, then? Pardon? Is its own fat not enough to cook them? Yes, it is. But sometimes bacon in the supermarket these days is very lean. Uh -huh. Less than three mil fat. Right. So you don't get a knot into it. So I sometimes add a bit more... Sometimes you get a bit of water, don't you, out of the bacon? That's, that's what because, I've noticed. That's because it's brined and not dry cured. Dry oh. cured, you won't get that. Brined, you will. Okay. Yeah. So that's Dry cured is better? I, pref I prefer the flavour profile, certainly, of dry cured bacon. Now, that's a good point. If the bacon's in the pan, it's a bit milky, yeah. just cook it. It'll evaporate and it will brown oh, eventually. OK. Just don't rush it. Let yeah. it go. Now, I make no shame about this whatsoever. My youngest daughter loves these. These are hash oh, browns from the supermarket. You. With you, love them. I'm really not wanting to love like them, but I think they're delicious. It's been like the Yorkshire pudding the other day, that Yorkshire pudding that you did. I was thinking, I, this, this can't be right, but it was absolutely was delicious. Was the burger good? <laughs> yes, it was, it was really, really nice. good. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> so these are frozen ones, which I've obviously cooked, and all I do then is just pop these into here, put the, chop up the hash browns, in they go. Now, I love that about you, that you're just honest and you're using frozen yeah. hash browns. Fair play to no that. I've had so kids many just... One of my yeah. sons wouldn't even eat anything green or he could spot black pepper at Not 300 yards. Not only that, yards, we've got the know. time. I think we need to make our own hash browns. Who's got the time And they're delicious. That? They are good. Um, now, the only thing I do here... Now, my, my mum was Lancashire and uh, she loves black pudding. Mm -hmm. So I use black pudding in here as well. Just... I sprinkle it in almost like salt and pepper. Just to You'd never know it was in there, to be no, fair. No, it's a seasoning. It's a bit like when I do um, Lancashire Hot Pot, my mum <laughs> always used to put a little bit of black pudding into it with, along with the barley, and it just gives a really nice, savoury, yeah, almost extra. umami flavour profile to it. Get them cooking away. Now, if you want to brown the hash browns, it's up to you, but they're already cooked. This makes no difference to yeah. me. And then I'm just using, well, some cherry tomatoes here, which you can use whole like that, pop them in. Half tomatoes will be OK. Just be a little bit careful. If you've got half tomato, I've got here, the yeah. larger ones, they're quite watery, so when you, f when you have the finished tortilla, if you're not careful, the water comes out and it will split. Right, Just okay. purely because the water's coming out and yeah. cooking it. Cherry tomatoes don't tend to do that, or well, certainly not as much. So I'll put some whole ones into there, a few chopped ones as well, in they go on. Do you oh. grow your own tomatoes, Phil? I do grow... I'm growing this year, I'm growing two varieties this year. How do you do them? Uh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit behind, actually, if I'm being honest. With the weather? It's a bit cold, yeah, but we'll get there. In the you're end. the same. We'll get there in the end. Now, Five or six eggs, depending on the size of your pan. We're using a 24-centimetre pan, which is normally five eggs, medium eggs, not large. Yeah. Okay. Feeding, no. feeding four? Four to six. Now, also, what I don't do is uh, add salt. No need. No, nothing there. You don't need it. You've got no. Because you've got the bacon, haven't you? Correct. And the sausages. sausages. So I do add black pepper, which I love, so quite a bit of black pepper. And purely because I'm a bit chefy, a few chopped chives, chopped They're parsley, lovely. a bit of green. Yeah. My old chef used to call Vegetables. it... Vegetables. My old chef used to call it a bit of, bit of Merry Christmas. A bit of Merry Christmas in there. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of Merry Christmas. Why? Not no idea. It's but the tree. It's the Christmas tree. Possibly. Yeah. Right. Phil, I read Far away. You, you shouldn't get, like, natural eggs and medium eggs. So anything that's, like... natural? Well, the chicken basically wants, oh, I see. wants to lay medium yeah. eggs. Is yeah. that true? Like... Um, I think it depends on the size and the breed of the chicken. Right. Some, if you go to America, they're a lot bigger, for instance. Um, but, yes, medium egg is normally what we... And in in um, cooking terms, we always use medium eggs. Right. We very rarely use large eggs. Small ones, obviously, like bantam eggs, you need to use a few more. Yeah. Now, 
<laughs> what, what I'm doing here, the, the egg is merely a binder just to bring that all together. Yeah. It's, it's just cups such cups a no no. Do you know what? That little piece is just enough, actually. Yep. To be Isn't it? It's packed yeah, full. It's really nice. But bear in mind, you, you do have potatoes you as well. Yeah, yeah. You, you know the hash browns really make it. Yeah. So That's so nice. Here's the little thing. So you set just you'll just see there the egg is starting to oh, set on that. the edge. Look at that colour. Yes, it's just Beautiful. on there, you can see, just setting here. Now you can put it under a grill, nice and gently, or you can pop it in the oven at 180. Yeah. Cook it for about 12 minutes, just to set the egg. Now bear in mind you're only cooking it to 40 degrees. This just sets the egg. Take it out and let it rest. Now, do you know what I'd put on top of that though? Oh, go on, cheese. a little bit of cheese. <laughs> you did say that. Yeah, you know I'm a cheese I monster. Was, yeah, I just knew it was. Coming. You know I'm a little but it cheese makes monster. Sense as well, though. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Then bit it of moves it on from the breakfast food, doesn't it, to like a lunch? <laughs> just a quick word of caution here. Yeah. I'm using a non-stick pan here, as you can see here. The, that one there. And this is an iron pan, which is meant to be non-stick. Okay. Now, if you cook it in these iron pans, great, great little tip. If you take it out of the oven the chances are it might stick. So if you just cover that and leave that there, that steam goes underneath and it releases the egg so you can get it out. So give it a couple of minutes to steam and rest, the chances are it will come out. Amazing. Okay? I don't really so what I do, any pan invert that one. Ooh, I don't stick a no. ball in there. Invert that one. You need to get a good quality one. Yeah. Sorry, we're just talk, talking talk about 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 pan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, we're talking about, you know, you can't trust these pans no, you can't. sometimes. But... Invert it, put it out. Wow. That little one just there. Oh, and it's so nice, isn't it? Leave it to set. You, you can even pop it into the fridge and the chill it. I think that'd be nice cold as well. Yeah, loads of picnic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, try that one. Is that, I'm, is I'm that hungry. hotter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank I you, lovely. I'm not hungry. I'm doing a bit more comedy. Oh, yeah, that that is so nice. Are you going to join us? Come no. on, you have not a little that, bit. Not you that rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I am. Of course I am. There are the other rubbish on the chair. Uh, delicious ideas. Some other rubbish. Uh, the head of the Do rubbish show this morning. That's what my son said to me. Not in that rubbish, Dad. <laughs> and then you just say to me, "I'm not in your quite My mum's is much better." I went, okay, fair enough. There you go. Recipe case. Brilliant. That's delicious. Definitely try that recipe. Now, okay. still to come. We're